Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time we're going to have an unboxing of the Echo Flex and this is the one you saw me do one on the Christmas gift guides or holiday gift guides and it has a lot of potential. It's got two different sensors, a motion sensor, well not two sensors, it has a motion sensor and it has an LED light. Anyway, let's switch over to the demo camera and we'll go through what you can expect to find. Okay, so it, this is the way you're going to expect to, to probably get it. It's going to be a little plastic bag and we'll just take it out of the plastic bag and it has the what I call the, the child protection strip so we'll peel that out of the way and we'll open up here and we've got that and you have an instruction book and as you can see that's all in the packaging so we'll get the packaging out of the way and let's get all this protective packaging out of the way here and as you can see i got my trusty power strip at the ready so we'll plug that in and you can see it's already trying to sync to the mothership it's got blue on there and it's alternating colors so we'll switch over to our application and we will go to voice amazon alexa we will go to the menu option we will go okay and you hear it's it's kind of humming in the background here so go to settings and your device, device. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. okay and it's nice that it's actually walking you through some things so now what we're going to do and i see i've got two different echo flexes in here so i'm going to pick the one that i hope is the right one and we will click wi-fi network and yes it's plugged in and it's displaying an orange light so we'll say yes Oh, and I've got to turn on Bluetooth, which is fine. Okay, so that's the the way that's okay. So it found it. So it doesn't really matter when you when you buy two of the Echo Flexes, and that was my concern. So it's searching for it here. Hopefully, I'll find something here directly, and I, and I'm going to try to do more of these and let you see the actual wait time on doing this, and it's going to go out there and hopefully get things running here shortly okay come on technology is uh great when it uh, when it works so we'll hopefully we'll see something here in in just a minute like i, said, I had just turned on bluetooth because i normally unless i have a reason to have bluetooth on we'll have it uh, turned off just you now that it can drain the power of a battery in a smartphone a little bit faster than we would like so it's it says searching device turns from blue to orange it's in setup mode well i would say it's in setup mode well, at this point, let's go ahead and say we don't see the orange light. Okay, let's press and hold the action button. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Wi-Fi isn't set up on this device. You can find instructions in the help section of your Alexa app. Okay, I know Wi-Fi is not set up. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to press and hold this like it says. There we go. Now in mode. All right, now. The in your Alexa app. Okay, there we go. It's amazing how well it works when you get everything in the right order. And we will select the Wi-Fi network. Now it's got to go find what I've got locally. Like you would think it, uh, it would already know at this point, but apparently not. 
But it, you know, we all know technology is going to do what it wants to. Okay. Well, let's try again. For some reason, it didn't like wireless. Okay. All right, we'll say yes. You've connected. Now, go back to the Alexa app. Okay. Well, it it's nice when it connects and it's probably I don't know, with with my luck with technology at times, it could be something that it's just taking its sweet time. Okay, now setting up the Wi-Fi network. Ah, there we go. Now this is supposed to have let's check the little the book that came with it and the little booklet and let's see if this supports hopefully if it says it supports five gigahertz it would be really nice if it did and it may not but i tell you what on something like this i would rather it go to to the 2.4 so let's switch back over to the 2.4 and it's going to start uploading. And the first time, it probably was just a false start. Because sometimes it just decides to do things when it's absolutely ready. And one, not, before, not one minute before that. Okay, so you see the little, what I call the gas gauge indicator. So that hopefully should be coming through here in just a moment. Okay, now according to the Echo Flex, it thinks it's done. But there may be some settings it still is sent to it. Because see, this is what it's starting to look like at this point. It's, it's doing that. Your Echo is ready. Okay, and so that's what the app is showing. Next time I forgot to do a split screen on this one. I'm just switching over to a new video switcher from... Uh, black magic design so we'll tap on continue now what we'll probably do is i'm going to call this one i'm going to change edit name and this is something because i've got two of them and this is another thing that when you're going to have multiple these well you probably want to if you've got a label maker machine and label which one is which now if i can just spell is the magic thing here and we'll tap done and we're going to leave everything else alone here okay and now we'll go back actually we didn't want to go all the way out but if we go back into here settings and devices now you'll see Echo Flex A online. So it took a little bit to uh, to get things up and running, but as you can see now, and actually let me switch over to that, and we will give it a test. Echo, Alexa, what is the time? The time is three fifty-six p.m. and happy trivia day. Now, I could do without the uh, greeting after the time. But as you can see, it's it's fully up and running. So it's a handy little form factor. And that's really all it took. And I'm not used... Well, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. I'm not surprised that there's a problem in finding wireless. Because sometimes, let's face it, technology is great when it works. At this point, this is up and running. So with this is ready to put anywhere you would want in the house and we'll start looking at some of the more advanced settings later but if you've not set one of the alexa devices up before i've walked you through the steps involved and this is something that is really very straightforward you don't have to be a techie to do this one it may help a little bit in some of the things what you saw but again we're up we're running and that's the name of that game so you will see a link to some of the other videos I've done with the different Alexa products and some of the things you can do with a smartphone, either over here on the right or on the left side of the screen. Thank you for everybody who's been watching the videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and make sure you click that bell notifications icon to keep informed when I do release new videos. 
That's all for this time. I try to keep these within about 10 to 15 minutes. I do have a podcast out, so if you don't have the ability to watch video all the time, the podcast is basically the audio track of the device. And that way you can kind of keep up with what's going on or have something playing in the background while you're setting it up so you don't have to try to watch multiple videos at the same time. We'll be doing several other devices within the Flex. And actually, we'll go through and we'll switch over here to demo camera. So we're going to have the nightlight and the motion sensor. We'll be doing videos on each one of those. But also, if you are going to use the motion sensor, they're very specific in the instructions to not use that as part of a security system. It probably has to do with the sensitivity or there I have seen some indications of some uh, false setoffs of it. So if you're going to have a motion sensor, make sure you get one that's made for an alarm system. Anyway, that's all we've got for this time. Thank you very much for your time, and we'll talk to you again soon.